This is Sean's first day experimenting with his eye limb, and he <laughs> has a few kinks to work out before he holds his cup of coffee <laughs> in his hand. You want your kin to be perfect and nothing to go wrong. You know, it is what it is. If we had not had the insurance, then there's no way Sean would have had a prosthesis. We were very excited about it. Then it seemed to be more disappointing each time he tried to use it. I always just found them frustrating. When I first met Lyman, I thought it was really cool that he was actually trying to help and make a difference. So he said, Sean, you know, if you had a hand that was really like a hand, would it be more functional? Would you try it? And he said, he said, yeah, I'll try it. I'm Lyman Connor. By day, I am a software engineer at General Electric. After hours, I work in my lab creating bionic prosthesis. I was captivated by the cost of $50,000 for a prosthetic hand. The device does not need to be that expensive. Who is to tell someone that you can't get a leg or an arm? You're already adding insult to injury. My goal was design something that has all the same capabilities as the $50,000 hands at a fraction of the price. Sean O'Connor, he was my sounding board for anything technological or structurally that I wanted to do with the hand. It's very exciting to like be a part of something that's actually trying to advance current prosthetics because not a whole lot has changed. Eduardo came into the project to modify and perfect all the cosmetics. When I first started working with him, he had a rough version of what his vision was. So what I ended up doing was separating all those different components and then in the future, we're able to change the dimensions and make a completely different version for every specific patient. We're at the stage of development with the prosthesis where we felt like, okay, we have a product. After measuring a patient, we're able to design the size of the hand that we want, click print, and within 24 hours, start assembling. I don't need $70,000 pieces of equipment. This is everything that I need. The really cool thing about the microfactoring scenario is that anyone that has a passion and ambition to create a product can get started with just one printer. And then once you're ready to scale up, start using multiple printers. The initial concept was to help one person and Sean through his willingness to help has opened up the door for us to support and help people all over the world. Now that we fitted our first patient successfully we're able to replicate this process for any other patient that needs one. Compared to my first hand this one I can already tell is a lot more comfortable it's lighter as we improve it, it can only get better. Just because you may want a prosthetic hand doesn't mean that you'll qualify for it, even if your insurance will pay. I want to make something affordable and change the whole demographics of who can afford these hands. The whole idea is to go global and to make a positive impact. <laughs>